Okay. Hey, girl. Welcome back. Look who we got on the show today. We have his stage name is Cha In Wu, but his birth name is Lee Dong Ming. He's, his position is he's a vocalist, the vision, and the face of the group of Astro. Now, his birthday is March the 30th, 1997. Welcome, Lee Dong Ming, to the show. Okay. Now, we're going to um, find out more about him. Okay. Because I discovered him because when I was investigating Moonbin's passing, um, he came up. So, we're going to just see who is he, you know, who is he. And if we like his vibe or whatever, then we kind of work our way through it. Uh, I don't want to make this reading about Moonbin, but you know, if some red flags pop up, then we're going to ask. But let's just see who is Sha In Wu, Lee, Ma, Lee Dong Ming. Okay. So, Divine Angels, if you could please give me the best cards from this deck to describe who is Lee Dong Ming? Who is the real Lee Dong Ming? Okay. Lee Dong Ming. It was the energy behind Lee Dong Ming. Oh, that's a lot. So we're just going to go ahead and take this little chunk that came out. Okay. He's showing up as a trickster. Okay. He's showing up as somebody that uh, manipulates other through duplicity. Now, his, his light attribute shows that he's transcending conventional stuffiness and predictable behavior. So, girl, you could be there sitting there minding your business and he's going to come up and do something, honey. Okay? And you don't know what he's going to do. His behavior is not predictable. Okay? And, but the thing about it is, behind the scenes, he ends up manipulating others. Okay? Some kind of way. Okay? Always the trickster. Okay? Working magic. And you know the thing about a trickster is, is they the one who know the secret behind their magic. Nobody else. Okay. Next, he's showing up as a father. He says he has a talent for creating and supporting life. He has a positive, a guiding light with a tribal unit. So it seems like he shows up as a leader. I guess that's hence to why he. Well, no, he's just a face. He's not the leader of the group. So he's just a face, honey. But he's showing up as a father, somebody that can, um, that's good at creating. Okay, and also supporting life, but it also shows up that he's a dictatorial control, abuse of authority. So, baby boy may not, um, he's showing up as the daddy, like the authority, like he is the authority. Okay, that's how he's showing up. If he's not a father already, he's showing up like he is somebody daddy, like he's trying to tell you what to do. Next, we have the Midas, though. He said he had the Midas touch, though. That's why he's the face, honey. He says. He has an entrepreneur, a creative ability to turn anything into gold. He delights in sharing his life riches. So he don't mind sharing with you, honey. But the shadow attribute says that he will hoard his money and his emotions. Uh-oh. So how you like sharing? No, he said he turned anything to gold. He delight in sharing life's riches. He said he has delights in it, okay, in sharing it. He didn't say he actually do it. Okay, but he might. It seems like he may also be a given person. But behind closed doors, he likes to hold on to his money, baby, and his emotions. So you're not going to get much emotion or intimacy from him. It says he has an obsess obsessive fear of losing his money, his wealth. So it seems like he really tight with his money. Like he's really obsessed with losing it. And so he'll hold on to it at all costs. But also, and the miser also can be somebody that'll take your money too, because the miser showed up in Moonbin reading as somebody that was taking money from Moonbin out of his apartment. Now I'm not saying that he did that, but I'm just trying to connect the two dots. Now we got the victim here. Okay, he shows up as a victim as well, or you know, he plays the victim. It says he prevents you from letting yourself be victimized or victimizing others. So he said he won't allow you to be the victim. So don't even think about it. He's going to give you the pep talk and make sure you get up and keep moving. But the shadow attribute, which means the size that he don't show, says that he's playing the victim for a positive feedback in the form of pity. He has the inability to maintain personal boundaries. So it seems like he, as the trickster, he's going to cross your boundaries. okay? And then he's going to act like he's the victim. When he was just playing a joke, he was just playing a game. He was just having fun, okay? When he's victimizing you, he's making you, you're the, you're the victim. He's like, you're the victim in his trick. 
But then when you get mad at him react, then he's he's like, oh my God, it was just a joke. Okay, can you not take a joke? So he turned you into some type of um, monster when he the one who's playing the games. It's like, stop playing games. But then we got the child nature. Like he's kind of immature at nature, which means he probably was, he's a childish person probably. But it says he has friendship with animals. He can commun communicate well with nature. But it also speaks about the shadow attributes. says he has a tendency to abuse animals, people, and the environment. So he'll kiss your bunny in front of your parents. But then as soon as you piss him off, he'll kick your bunny. Okay. Allegedly. But it says he'll not only do it to your bunny, baby, he'll do it to you. And he'll kick a tree too if he had to. Or throw a rock or punch a tree or, you know, kind of like, you know, get mad and punch a wall type of thing. But in front of everybody, he's so friendly. And he said he communicate great with spirit. Okay. Might even like birds in front of people. But then he's an artist as well. And we know he is an artist for sure. It says his light attribute. He expresses a dimension of life that is just beyond his five senses. He inspires others to see life symbolically. So it seems like he um, is very creative. He is showing up as a creative person. He has talent and he's very creative. That's for sure. That showed up twice as the father card and also as the artist. Now, he may be the father, you know, like he's the one that's going to tell you you messed up and how to get it right. He'll not only tell you you messed up, but then he'll show you how to do it right. <laughs> so he's the teacher, okay? He's the disciplinary, he's the principal and the teacher. Next, we got the shadow attributes. It says using his talent as an excuse to mistreat others. What did I just tell y'all? Then I tell you, he, like he'll put you down and then show you how to do it and then make you feel grateful that you got him. It says posing as a starving artist. Abil he says he's a um, starving artist to get some type of ex um, pity from you. Again, that victim kind of mentality. Like he'll victimize you and then he play the victim. And then he, as the artist, he'll tell you where well, you made a mistake so that he can correct you. Okay. Be that father figure. And it's a, just a way of kind of making you have low self-esteem. But he said he's the knight of shining the armor, armor. So don't worry about the ladies love him. He said no matter if you don't love him, the ladies love him. Okay. He said he has loyalty. He has romance. And he has chivalry. I mean, he's going to open the door in front of everybody. He's going to open the door in front of your parents, baby. He's going to do all the right things. He has a love of honor. Okay. But the part when your parents walk out the door, girl. It said he has allegiance to a destructive ruler. Or principle he has some type of romantic delusions which means you thought it was a relationship but nah that's not what it was okay just because he opened the door for you one time that don't mean nothing okay so he seemed like somebody that's always about fun and games okay and he'll hurt your feelings and then call it funny and call it a joke call it a game okay he's also showing the best a leader with the father okay Either he is a father in real life or he's showing up as somebody that is will be your father. Honey. He'll teach you, he'll punish you, and he'll also um, uplift you. Girl, he'll do it all in one day. But it's probably something that his father did to him with the child nature card. It's probably something that he probably received from his father. And it kind of made him angry. Angry. Now, with this card being child nature, being about his true nature may have been a friendly nature like he probably you know with your as your innocence you lead with your light attributes but you get to a point that you get angry let's let's say a father was abusive uh, allegedly let's say that okay you, when you get to the point that you get to the size where you feel like you can finally defend yourself against your father there's some power that comes in it okay and you stand up for yourself but then sometimes that power can go overboard to the point that you become the bully as well right Okay, so he started off as the as the victim, and he may have been the funny kid growing up. He may be a funny, you know, playing games just to make friends, and then it comes to the point that because of what he was going through in the middle of his reading, which means could be some father issues or some dominant issues, somebody being dominant to him when he was a, a masculine energy being dominant to him when he was a child. Okay, the nature of his when he was a child, and now that's his nature as a man. Okay. And he just really need to balance that out because it's okay to stand up for yourself, but don't get to the point that you're playing the bully. Now, over here where it says he has the Midas touch, which means anything he touched turns to gold when it comes to him being an artist. He got the look. 
Okay, clearly he got the talent. Okay, because creativity showed up here twice. Now, and he also got the looks for the ladies and the night, you know, but he's going to give you some type of delusions, okay? Because um, it shows that he's, he has a love of honor, which means that's his true nature. But I think he kind of leading with an ego probably now, okay? He all about his money. Don't think he's going to get no money, girl. He, he's holding his money to himself, girl, okay? You know, he's going to go out there and make money, but he's not sharing it, girl, at all. Okay, with that miser touch. He said he's the only one going to touch his money. <laughs> so, that's just what I saw with that. But, you know, he got the ladies. Okay. He probably, you know, he probably looked good. He probably looked just like his father. His father probably a good looking man too. But, could be a mean man. Good looking man, but mean man. Okay. So, he ho holding on to this money a lot. So, for him to hold on to this money a lot, it means it means, it means a lot to him. It, he treasured his money, his goals, his riches. Okay, his material things. And he, you know, and he know by being an artist, that's how he achieved those things. So, he's very proud of those things. And he get the ladies that way. But, it's been a rough road for him at the beginning. Okay, so let's kind of pull some cards to kind of see what... Okay, let's pull Tara. No, I'm gonna pull from this deck. Give me more about this trickster and victim card. What do we need to know? How did this transform in his life currently? Okay, with this trick, he's showing up as a trickster and a victim. Okay, give me more about that. What do we need to know about this trickster and victim card for him? Okay, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough. So, oh, we got a lot of dark energy, honey. Let's see. Now, the trickster. We got the sun, okay? Which, you know, the sun, bright, warmness, happiness. Okay, you at peace. You, you at your ultimate happiness, okay? So, it's like for him to have peace, okay? He showed up as his trickster. Again, I think he used that trickster type of energy, to kind of make friends or to kind of get along with people. To kind of bring him some type of peace. Okay. It was a way to kind of break the ice with people probably. Okay. And um, because he may have had some type of predictable predictable behavior that he wanted to break. Okay. But we got the sun with the fame and all that. Okay. Next we got options with the seven of cups. A lot of options here. But all that glitter is not gold with him. Okay. Everything you see is not what you get. Okay. He does have a lot of options and decisions here. But he may not make all the right decisions at all the times when he's being his trickster and his victim. Okay. So, in his cups, we see a lot of stuff that's happening at night. We see his heart here. There's something that he loves here. We got this snake energy. We got the all-seeing eye, baby, honey. Who's seeing your management? Cameras watching. We got this dimensional card. Spiritual. He could possibly be spiritual as well. Or um, some type of different dimensions or different um, layers to them. We got the sun again and we got flowers. Okay. Next we got the queen of swords energy. Which is, speaks of a feminine energy over the age of 25. But we got that sword energy. Which is somebody, you know, in their emotions, in their feelings. Okay. And then when they pull that sword out, it's like they're demanding the truth. And when they get the truth, it better be something they like or they're going to swing that sword. Okay. That sword can represent uh, weapons. It can represent uh, truth. It can re represent protection. Um, it can represent um, cutting through the BS. Okay? When somebody holding their sword, they mean business. So he's serious um, with his tricks and stuff. He'd be serious most of the time. Okay? But then he'll call it a joke. Then we got this high offense. We got this all seeing eye again. Somebody watching. Okay, this could be management watching. This could be a corporate um, entity, a co corporation. But this is him joining this corporation. Coming together for this corporation, going into that door, baby. And the secrets, being, the secrets are not to leave the pyramid, okay? Because you're moving up to a higher um, hierarchy, see? Okay, if you will. Next, we got the three of pentacles, which is synergy. Being able to work well with others okay this also given uh third party energy being able to work in the party of three 
So we got this victim mentality and this trickster energy. Like, okay, so again, we'll, we got somebody here minding their business at peace, having a good time, then here come in, okay, and stir things up. But it seems like he got somebody that got his back here. It seems like when it comes to him, the company, I don't know if they like him a lot or whatever, but it's like they may be on his side when it comes to him and his game. So it's like that's how he get away with it. Okay, he's very much like, even though he make bad decisions, but it seems like, and people be frustrated, may even go report them, but they were like, um... Let's see if we can work this out. Let's see if we can make things, to kind of smooth things out when it comes to him and his tricking and being his behavior, okay? His, his unpredictable, unpredictable behavior that he has, okay? And then he'll play the victim, okay? Switch it up on you. But then I also see here with a feminine energy also getting upset with him or getting upset with management, somebody being cut off. Okay, from the fame because of something that he may even he may even have done to cause somebody to leave the group. Okay, somebody to leave because I'm picking up somebody being bitchy. Okay, somebody being bitchy, honey. But we got the the uh, management looking and watching. But then we got this third party energy kind of you know if we if it's like if you keep on it's gonna be a group of three. Okay, it's like cutting people off because it's almost like. Like he the golden child, he the golden child. So it's like the group is getting smaller and smaller because of him and his tricksters and his games and people can't sleep around him. It's just like it's just too much drama. I'm seeing drama, and then now I'm seeing at the end a group of three. So next we got the father and the child nature card. Let's see why is that here? Why is the father and child nature card here? Now I see a mother father. Okay, now the Empress, honey, unless mama was a hot girl, baby. Now this right here, uh, Empress, she um, represents a mother figure. She, um, the, the feminine also represents how he view women also. And you know, women are just like beautiful objects or beautiful tools, okay? Some, something you can get if you have the right fame and all that, you can get this Empress energy, okay? Now his father, this falls up under the father card, and this is how he probably is when it comes to his relationship as well. He's kind of, He could be kind of controlling in relationships with the Empress, okay? But it's something he could have learned from his mother and his father. Because he got the child nature card up under here. He's something he's seen as a child. That's the nature. That's the nature of his household. How it was going. So whatever you see from him is what he saw growing up from his father and mother. Okay. His mother probably was beautiful. Okay. Father probably was strong and domine domineering. Okay. But his father also guided him. Okay. We got this queen of pentacles. Okay. Now this giving me a pregnancy energy. Now this giving me that he may have somebody pregnant girl. How old is this baby? Okay, because uh, I see father now. Now I'm seeing him as the father. I'm seeing him as the um, having someone that's pregnant or somebody that's about to have his baby. Okay, with the child card up on here. Now I'm seeing, yeah, I'm seeing somebody's having a baby. And then the King of Cups, it seems like he's happy about it. He's happy. Okay, but remember now we got this child nature his nature is with this trickster card he got the tendency to abuse okay allegedly now but it says the tendency which means it probably haven't showed itself it probably haven't but it's there's a tendency here so we do have a lot of feminine energy here he could be controlling in his feminine energy oh, i mean his family his relationships with a feminine energy or he could also because with this king of cups here this is a masculine energy over the age of 25 that he could also have feelings for okay because I see a lot here I see mother father child I see two masculine energies and two feminine energies but the feminine energy I see the feminine energy is beautiful okay and I see you know, giving life, a rebirth, a birth, 
okay with this father card and the cups like like this is where his heart is his his love is here either with this masculine energy or with these feminine energies okay and it's something that he probably picked up from father your father was a pimp so next we got this miser energy and the the Midas touch and the artist so we're gonna pull from this deck I'm going to come back to this middle part, but right now I'm going to see what's going on with this miser. It's Midas and uh, this card for Lee Dong Lee Dong Okay, so what we have here is the little boy blue. Aww. So something occurred when he was a little boy, just a baby. Look at the little boy, innocent. Okay, so I don't know if he didn't have a lot of money when he was younger, but he's making sure that this is his dreams come true uh, to be an artist ever since he was a little boy. And he's going to hold on to his money, honey, because he's not going to be broke. Okay, it says return of the soul. So it seems like either a birth of a child, because again, I see a, a, a little boy here. He having a son, a birth of a child that he's holding dear to him. He's not sharing with nobody but the smiters. He holding it very much dearly dear to him. Let me look at this mic. Oh. Yeah, he is. He holding something very much dear to him. Now, either it's the son, a cute little baby boy, or this is him when he was a baby boy. You know, this is a dream come true and return of the soul. Now, if this is a little boy, it's like it's gonna give him some type of meaning, some type of true. It's like it's gonna give him because remember he's showing up as somebody as a trickster that it's hard for you to get some type of emotions from him it seemed like his emotions were either here when he was a little boy or when his son is born that's when his emotions are going to develop but they're not developing for these females or this energy here now we do see a king of swords and a king i'm sorry king of cups energy here and this could be him with a cup for somebody or you know a father figure or a masculine energy that he loves here but it's going to be return of the soul it says the midnight prince again something happened at night with this prince with this knight ask for what you want and be honest so it's something that's happening at night that he's not honest about which means night represents something that he's not a shadow attributes which means he's not willing to share this okay and it's something about his emotions right here he has some fear of losing his wealth and the fear of um, sharing his emotions about what's happening at night with his prince energy, with maybe even this king of cups. Because we got fairy tales. Letting go, detach, and moving on. You got to let go of something. There's something you got to let go so that you can move forward, okay? Because you have some type of allegiance that's being very destructive in your life. And until you let go, you're going to continue to go down this dest destructive type of path. Okay. So let's pull on this King of Cups. First, let's find out who is this King of Cups. Who is this King of Cups in, in, in Sha and Wu's reading? We don't mean. Who is this King of Cups? Okay. So it seems like this King of Cups is... Somebody that he holds at high honors, which could be his father. Somebody could be military. Somebody that um, somebody that you know has some type of high honors job, some type of high society job. Somebody that he sends a message to, okay, that he could be communicating with. Oh, oh, somebody that's no longer with us, or it could be also somebody that is that ended okay that's an ending here coffin so this king of cups somebody that he cares about over the age of 25 okay somebody that he held the high honors okay that he's had a message for okay that's either no longer here or the related relationship is no longer here okay because i see somebody watching them okay with this high effing card i see somebody watching him it could be this queen of swords energy that's watching them okay with this king of cups and when they when they watch it kind of brings out something in him because it brings out this father energy or something that he wants to hide from his father okay so and it's something that's been in him ever since he was a child that he's been hiding and so with this coffin card and this king of cups energy um, it's giving me moonbeam energy. So let's make sure. 
Or it could be a father that's no longer with him. Okay? So, let's see. What can I pull to see about if this is... Uh, I don't know. Give me... Give me more about this coffin and this King of Cups. Um, King of Cups energy for Cha and Wu. Or Li Dong Min. Give me more about this coffin and this King of Cups energy. Okay. Oh. It's giving me somebody that held the key to his heart. It's an opening or some type of unlocking something. Unlocking the truth of knowledge, destiny, okay? Some type of threshold they cross. Crossing, crossing some type of threshold with this um, king of cups in this coffin. Okay, it's a knowledge. So he has some type of knowledge about this coffin and king of cup energy. Uh, closing a door and opening another or opening the door to close it. But he unlocking something with this key. With this gentleman, it's a gentleman, a significant other, a young person, a male energy. Okay. A masculine energy. With the stork, which is change, a pregnancy, a beginning, a transition. Okay. It's giving me transition. So this is this King of Cups is somebody that has transitions. Okay. Because there was something about this uh relationship that he had with this gentleman. Um, that he kept on the lock and key. So I'm picking up this is Moon Ben's energy with this energy right here. Okay, again, this giving me pregnancy again, new beginning. Because it also this Queen of Pent this Queen of um, Pentacle is still right here. Okay, and but there are some problems and delays, distorting the truth, blurring the truth. Okay, some type of misunderstanding that happened with this King of uh, Cups and this coffin. And things got uh, it was it caused a very much a dilemma. Somebody is distorting the truth, hiding the truth behind these clouds. Okay, and with these clouds come rain, which means tears. Okay, and he had to start over with this new beginning. I'm picking up that he got a new beginning. He probably have a girlfriend out there that's pregnant, or you know he want to have this new chapter with this uh, this empress energy, this empress and this uh, queen of pentacles energy. But under lock and key, behind closed doors, um, there was a king of cups that held his emotions and his in his feelings. Okay, and it's also showing that um, with this father card, it's like talent and creating a supporting life, a positive guiding light within a tribal unit. Okay, again, unit is still giving me a unit with him and um, moon being being a unit. It's also giving me a unit. With him and his family and a girlfriend. Okay. It's giving me night and day. Okay. Remember we see the night and day going on. Next girl. Let's move on. Okay. Let's find out more about this management energy. Because this seems like management right here. And then a queen of swords. Like finding out the truth. Management finding out the truth about what's going on. Okay. In this, in, in this energy that's going on at the beginning. Okay. There's options. There's a lot going on. And it's like they've been watching and seeing it. Okay. So let's see what's going on with that energy. Let's see what these cards have to say about this Hierophant energy. When it comes to Li Dong Ming. Okay. Because you see them watching. There's an organization that's watching. What are they watching for? What are they doing? What's their agenda? Okay. What do they see? Okay, they see a lot. Okay, so we do got the four of pentacles. They watching, honey. They watching the money, honey. They make sure they ain't messing up the money. We again, this is this uh, Midas touch. Okay, they looking at the golden child. They watch, make sure the money don't get messed up. They want to move forward. Okay, with the chariot. With this rebel energy. It's like moving forward no matter what. Okay. Even if we got to call the police. If, even if the police get involved or finding out. They hoping not though. But it's like moving forward with this bad type of energy. Moving forward all fast. All you know. In a rush. We got this three of pentacle in, energy again. This three energy. Three people. Okay. Working together. Remember we got this three of pentacles. 
that came out with this high infant pyramid energy. It's like an organization working together. Okay. Again, for those pentacles, they're making sure that the money stay good. They don't care about nothing else. Okay, we've got this Queen of Pentacles. Okay, now the Queen of Pentacles showing up again a second time. Okay, they may be making sure that they push him back into this relationship with this Queen of Pentacles. Okay, to, again, to keep the money right. Maybe even the baby. Again, the King of Cups. Uh, King of Cups out here again. This emotions. Okay, this masculine energy having emotions. Now you see he's looking away from this Queen of Cups. He's still looking back over here at this King of Cups. They know it. They know about this King of Wands energy, the passion between the two. They don't like it. They don't want it. Okay. They say you need to walk away from it. Okay. Let it go. Or else. Okay. And so um, Lee, Lee Dong Min felt like he got to walk away. There's nothing else he could do about it. Okay. Okay. Because even though he got love and, and emotions and cups that flow it over, he got to leave the cups behind. Okay. Then we got the nine of cups. Okay. So it's like only one cup is missing. And you got somebody that's sitting here waiting on you. Lee, Mon, Lee um, Dong Ming. That's waiting on you to bring that cup to her. Okay. So they say you need to take that cup over to um, your nine of cups situation to your family. And it seems like if he is a father, um, they probably going to let you know about that. Okay. Because they want to push that narrative that, you know, this is a man's man, baby. And nothing more. It's like they found out about a, a relationship, okay, with this King of Cups and this King of Wands, okay. This King of, you know, the King of Wands is passionate. He's a good looking man. The King of Cups is more in his feelings and emotions, okay. I'm feeling like that's Moon Ben. I'm feeling like that could possibly be um, Lee Dong Min, okay. But it's like you got to walk away from this, okay. The King of Cups is not going to walk away. So the King of Wands is going to have to figure it out. Okay, he's gonna have to walk away from the cups to walk over to this female with the cups. Okay, to this queen of pentacles and the high event, the organization want this. Okay, and it's like three people are working together with this pyramid energy. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Let's give us, let's find out more about this queen of pentacles. What's her energy? What's the energy around the Queen of Pentacles for Lee Dong Min? Okay, so it seems like with her, it's a girl, everything a fairy tale with her. She's oblivious to it. Earth magic, fairies. Okay, she in fairyland and she very focused with the crystals. So she very much unaware. Okay, she in La La Land. She just feel like, you know, they're a couple, they're a relationship. You know, she thinks like everything is crystal clear. Everything is a fairy tale. Earth magic. Or maybe she did some type of magic to make it a, a fairy tale, baby. Okay, she had to call on her fairies. But either way it go, she fully focused on him. Okay. And this probably ain't no baby. This probably a crystal ball, baby. Is that a crystal ball? The all-seeing eye. Okay. Is this is this um now I'm starting to pick up um moon sewer? Is that moon sewer? Okay, let's find out. Let's see. Is moon sewer the queen of pentacles for new beginnings? Because I do see three people here with this three of pentacles energy. Three people working together. It could be the organization, moon sewer, somebody else, girl. Give me the energy, the description of this Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is somebody with dark eyes, dark hair. The Queen of Pentacles over the age of 25, though. So let's see. This Queen of Pentacles, okay, she's a wallflower. She may not be somebody that's famous. She may not be in the fame, you know. She's a wallflower. She's somebody that looks back. Now, it's not like she don't think about it. And she's watching the girls. But she's a wallflower, baby. Union. Somebody he may be married to. He may be in the union with. Coupled up with. Okay. Somebody that he traveled to. Okay. Travel. Go back home to visit and see.
Somebody that he communicates with. Okay. He talks to her. That's his true love. Okay. So we got that Queen of Pentacles energy. So it is somebody that he is dating currently with. And she probably got dark hair. She could have some red hair, girl. I don't know. But it's somebody that he gives his heart to. Okay. Openly. So he gives his heart to her openly. Now he may gave his heart to somebody else not so much openly. Okay. Or gave that one. But somebody gave the cups to him. So let's see. And it seems like she is um, willing to give him life. Like she's willing to have his child if she's not already. Okay. And but it, and he's showing up as the father. So, And I see the baby here. The little cute little baby here. The little baby blue. So that's going to conclude the reading for, no, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm going to ask something real quick about Moon then. Okay, give me the energy around Lee Dong Ming and the energy of Moon Ben at the time of Moon Ben's passing. What do we need to know concerning Lee Dong Ming and Moon Ben at the time of Moon Ben's passing? Okay, so the first card we have here is discipline. It seems like they was practicing together because you got the instrument there, which means music. We got discipline, training, consistency, and practice. So it seems like they had practice at the time of um, passing. It seems like there was um, somebody was playing music. It seems like it may have been storming. It could have been night, girl. Moonbeam cat probably saw it, or Lee Dong Mean cat. Or there's a feminine or a feline, a feminine energy that was watching their practice. Next, we got a creator. Okay, he's showing the best of catalyst, the maker, the mother, and the father. So it seems like either mother, father was there. He was he's showing the best of creator. They probably was creating music together, creating something together, girl. But look how he's looking over there. Okay, with the little Bambi in the um in the glass. It's like you got, okay, you got the little band, but what's that in your hand, baby? You got something else that's red there. We'll keep on going, though. We got transmission, spreading of conditions, uh, influence, uh, impact. Okay? Now, we got somebody with some type of transmission. Transmission. Okay? Which means spreading of something, giving something, giving something to somebody. Okay? So that's why I asked, what is that in that little container, sir? Sir, what is that in that second container, baby? Okay, I want to know. Okay, so it seems like it may have put something in somebody's drink. Okay, spreading of conditions could have caused the condition to spread. So, given to somebody. Okay, influence, impact that caused the impact on him. Okay, next we got the past of prison. Uh uh. -uh. Either somebody done been in prison or going to prison. Okay, or baby, uh, the way you're going, you're going to be in prison. It says bitterness, a grudge, refusing to let go. Because remember, somebody had to let go of something. Okay? When we were talking about this King of Cups, it's like he had to let go because the all-seeing eye, a.k.a. management, a.k.a. corporations were looking at him. He had to let something go. But it seems like somebody was refusing to let go. I feel like what's Moon been refusing to let go of the relationship, the King of Cups, um, was he refusing to let go? And somebody was bitter about it and, and held the grudge because it's like you gotta let it go. We can no longer celebrate with the cakes no more, okay? Because you got spiders crawling over the cakes, you got spider webs. That's in the past, okay? And you can't hold me in this prison. You can't hold me in this relationship. You can't hold me, my emotions here. And, and it's almost like either he was, somebody was trapped in a prison, couldn't show, you know, what's, what's a prison? You, you, you have to, uh, you being pulled away be, uh, or condemned for something that you did wrong. Okay? Something you did in the past that was wrong. Okay? So, but somebody was bitter about it and refusing to let go of it. And baby, you might end up in prison for it. Okay? We got religion. A canon, rules, and commandment. Commandment. Somebody took a commandment. Followed the rules, honey. Followed instructions. Okay? And then we got this ceremony with this religious ceremony. So it seems like there was some type of practice. They would probably practice together, singing together, working together when it comes to music. And then we got creator here. Either a mother stepped in, a father, or a mother and a father. But um, there was something that was created. 
okay in a vial in the container and then somebody gave it to him okay because we we doing a reading on cha and wu something was given to him a spread a condition that caused an impact on somebody okay and then next we got the past of prison like you bitter because somebody didn't let go so you did this because somebody wouldn't let you go somebody loved you too much is that what she's saying okay and there was a grudge there that you could not let go and now you may if the truth comes out somebody may end up in prison okay that somebody could be you honey because this is your reading but he said he praying about it though okay he praying he gonna go to jail he, he praying that nobody don't find out that he broke a commandment he broke a rule okay he praying about it trying to keep it keep it on the down low okay so that's going to be the reading for cha in wu okay mr lee dong ming i hope you guys enjoyed it catch me on the next one girl talk to you later bye